I really didn't want to make this video. I already know what will happen when I criticize an atheist that I don't think is behaving rationally. But if I'm going to be honest with myself, I need to speak up. I got a taste of that when I criticized Protean View a couple months ago. My criticism of him was quite pointed, but ultimately pretty respectful, and Protean View even said so himself. But despite that, I got a deluge of vitriol from many of his fans that believe Jews are taking over the world. And so I'm expecting some of the same from Pat's fans that may believe that Muslims are taking over the world. Given their differences in opinion about who is actually taking over the world, I found it pretty fascinating that Protean View was the first well-known YouTuber to jump to Pat's defense in a video yesterday. But I digress. Now, I know that Pat's most ardent supporters have a bit of a reputation for being overzealous. But I'm not interested in flame wars based on personalities, especially with my own subscribers, who tend to agree with me on most issues. I'm only interested in ideas. And while, Zonstar, you're a jackass for criticizing Pat Condell, maybe an idea in the broadest sense, I'm looking for something a little more insightful. This part is for you directly, Pat, but I would be happy to hear from others that believe they understand your positions well enough to defend them. You talk about your atheist detractors as if we're just all impossible to figure out and that we're just being unreasonable, or coddling Islam, or politically correct, or whatever. Have you actually tried one-on-one -on -one dialogue with any of your more articulate detractors, in either public or private, or are you actively choosing to play the rebel? It doesn't appear that you've made the effort, but maybe you have and nobody's mentioned it. Now, I wouldn't presume to speak for any sort of community of atheists, if there even is one, but I do think I know why the past few months has brought you so much criticism, and I'd like to explain it, since you seem to genuinely not understand why so many people have turned on you in the past few months. Pat, you are not being criticized for opposing Islam in general, or opposing the imposition of Sharia law, or any of that. You are being criticized for supporting very specific ideas that many of us find abhorrent in a free society, and for inflating the immediate threat in order to make those ideas seem more palatable. When I say inflating the threat, don't get me wrong here, I am not saying that you are only pretending to fear the outcomes you speak about. Pat, you say you're afraid, and I believe it. I see the fear in your eyes, I hear the fear in your words. We all have fears, and that's okay. But it seems as if fear has taken hold of your rationality. And without rationality, atheism is an empty shell, as far as I'm concerned. If we saw the same level of threat that you do, we'd speak up too. But when you ask Americans to grant selective freedom by prohibiting a mosque in New York City, or supporting an anti-jihad bill by a congressman that is considered insane by many in his own political party, well, if you want to convince us that we need to make wholesale changes to our level of freedom, you need to have a lot more to go on than a small minority within an already small minority proposing something that almost nobody supports, or a book supported by a website that even in my country is considered to be far-right propaganda, never mind in yours. None of this arguing past each other in videos is going to help, though, until you engage with people, Pat, like I said before. Answer a few comments, write a few PMs to people, talk to people on Skype. Hell, Pat, I would gladly invite you to stay in the guest room of our home near Washington, D.C., where I would play tour guide for a few days, cook some steaks on the grill, and we can talk about the threats religion poses to our countries and to the world on the back deck over a couple glasses of 18-year-old single malt scotch or whatever else you're into. Those that know me best know that I'm not kidding in the least about that offer. It would take far less effort than that to start the dialogue, though. Doors open, Pat.